900 block North Calhoun Street, West Baltimore, where every challenge facing Baltimore is deeply entrenched. I wouldn't raise my children in this area at all. Blighted buildings scar the community landscape. Of 22 properties on the block, 13 are owned by the city or housing authority, the rest by outsiders. A dice game draws a crowd on a warm afternoon. There's not much else to do. Crime is a bad neighbor no one can evict. The block drew our attention when we looked at long-term trends of violence. In 1998, the fatal double shooting of two men on the block were the city's first two homicides that year. Last year, there were at least three shootings on the block. There was a triple shooting in 2011, the same year the city saw a rare drop in homicides below 200. We could go on. But talk to people here. What they want is not more police. When I walked up to you in the corner, you said, you got a job for me? Yeah, you got a job for me? Need work. Everybody need work. Jobs are scarce. There is no bank, no grocery store. There is a corner store, a liquor store, a bail bonds. Most people don't even finish school. They drop out. They drop out and they see their way out as selling drugs. And when you sell drugs, other things happen. You have crime, you have murder. It's one of these areas that everybody forgot. They, don't, they forgot or they don't even care. I mean, I'm talking about government, city officials, anybody. The city condemned one blighted property as unsafe in 2011. Now it's going through the legal process for demolition, nearly six years later. Around a corner, another abandoned building seems perfect for a horror movie set, but this is a real community. Community organizer Gwen Brown says indifference sends a powerful message. If you're in a community where it doesn't feel like anyone cares about you, or it doesn't feel like people care about the community, that contributes to the crime problem. The city's economic development map of the area is stark, virtually nothing in the works despite its designation as a zone offering the most incentives. There's space over there. It just requires, it's a lot of work. And convincing businesses to relocate there requires not only incentives, but a lot of handholding. There is some private investment. Scott Plank, the brother of Under Armour CEO Kevin Plank, led the donation of more than $2 million for a renovation project of the Western District Police Station. It's sad to have a philanthropist come to my community and he feels like the best thing he can do is put a couple million bucks in the police station when you see all this other dynamic going on around him. The city's spending priorities may be mismatched against the community's needs. Since 1998, spending on policing in Baltimore has soared, up 48% adjusting for inflation, while the city's commitment to education is down 8% and health down 30%, also adjusting for inflation. This year, city taxpayers are spending $481 million on policing, more than education, $265 million, and health, $137 million combined. As far as I've been living in this area, there hasn't been a change with anything. Children are just growing up as they, as they see the adults, and that's, that's all there's going to ever be, violence. I spoke to a young man who lives in this community, 19 years old, not on camera. He told me, I guess no one sees anything in this community. They just want to keep us killing each other. For the 11 News I Team, I'm Jane Miller.